What's going on everyone? XL804 here to do a little more Tarkov talk today and as you can see I got streets pulled up. Uh, if this is your first time seeing me I have a series going where I'm going to go through all the maps and just kind of give my feedbacks on uh, the maps and just things I think that could make the map a little bit better just in my humble opinion. Um, and of course if none of that happens it's no big deal this is all hypothetical but again if you want to check those out you can go to my profile and you can go check out the Tarkov talk playlist and you can kind of see all the other maps. That being said let's get into it. Okay, so before we really dive in, I just want to briefly say that I do enjoy Streets. It's probably been my favorite map to swipe. I think I like it because it feels like a playground, kind of like what Interchange really should have been, to where, like, when you get in a fight with another person, you have multiple options in which you can engage them. There's, like, a lot of different angles. If you want to hit a, a flank or a rotate because you don't like the angle that you're being fought at, then you can do that if you want to. And on some maps, it feels like it can take a long time to reposition and re-engage in a fight. Like, if you're fighting at Customs and you're fighting at Old Gas, right, let's say they're on the side of the wall where Fortress is, where you can't just push through the gate, right, and you're trying to peek over the wall without getting shot. On Customs, you have to go all the way up through the factories, wrap around to the front where construction is, and then come down and then fight again. On Streets, most of the time, you can just take a quick ro right rotation within seconds and you're re-engaged in the fight. And I just think that's really good. Um, it just really feels like a playground when it comes to fighting, and I really like that. So, with that being said, let's move into what I don't like about the map. Or or things I think could be better about the map. And so I'm not going to say what I don't like. <clears throat> so, this bottom section down here is incredibly rough. Now, I've noticed as I've continued to do these videos that every map more or less has this so this is probably not feedback specific to streets although it does need to be addressed this is probably something that bsg could take a note of across future maps because it seems like every map has a section where it's a combination of spawns aren't great and on top of that there's like a combination of lack of cover so like on reserve in reserve if i was to pull up that map in the bottom left corner there's like a, there's a couple of spawns grouped up together that are very close enough to where you could see each other within, within seconds of spawning and there's like no cover for some of those spawns to work with and they die. And it's the same thing here. If you jump out, if you break this glass window right here and you go out, um, you'll be out on the street and there's like maybe one or two things that you could lay down or get behind cover assuming the spawn right here steps out and is looking right back at you. Not to mention that this spawn could come from the opposite direction and then you're really pinched with nowhere to go, right? And that's very hard to deal with. Also, damaged house, if you come out this way, you might want to look and go down and like try to third party, but you also have to worry about this spawn looking back down at you. And I think the big problem is not so much PvP because I really do enjoy fighting. It is fun. But what I don't like is when the game spawns me in a place and I have to pass through an open space to move out into the rest of the map and it's not by choice like if you go into a risky if you go into the open then you know that's a risk that you have to be willing to take if, if you're fighting or whatever or if you want to go loot a kill and that's i 1000 percent get that but i don't like it when i spawn in a spot and i have to pass through an open space knowing there's a huge risk because of where i spawned at something that's out of my control and that's what i don't like and i feel like this section down here has a lot of that where you have to cross Oh, you have to run all the way down. Like, if you spawn courtyard, you have to run all the way through this open space and just hope no one's looking at you. And same thing with damaged house. You have to press out and you either run down the street where somebody could be watching or you go left and there could be someone at courtyard watching. This person could move this way and catch you. Like, it's tough. And not to mention this other spawn down here by evac could run up and try to fight you. And I definitely ran into people who spawned at evac. I've killed them as they spawned and they tried to run up into Concordia. I've been right here at the gate and I've died right here in this area because they were waiting for me right there. It's just, it's a rough part of the map. There's not a lot of cover and I really think they need to take a look at breaking these spawns up, maybe even getting rid of this spawn or maybe just put a few cars in the street, you know, put more cars that you can get behind and kind of fight your way out. You know, like if you don't want to get rid of the spawn, I'm okay with that. It's just, it, I feel like it's extremely, it's unnecessarily difficult for something that's out of your control. So maybe add some more cars along the street, maybe make the bushes a little bit taller. That way you kind of stand a chance when you spawn down here because AI scabs can light you up through the bushes too. Or, you know, someone will catch you and it's really out of your control. It's kind of like you just kind of get the short end of the stick if you spawn down here. 
Um, same thing with Damaged House. If there was like a way for them to maybe just a couple more cars in the street or something, just a few random obstacles or barricades so they can cross left to right right here, go into these houses and then start flanking and fighting whoever may be looking down the street. You know, just something to help those spawns out, man, because it's rough and there's no loot down here. And I was going to talk about this later in the video, but since we're talking about this section of the map, I'll go ahead and talk about it anyway. Um, it would be nice if they opened up the cinema to where you could go inside and you could loot the cinema. Because, like, once you spawn down here, it's like, oh crap, I spawned furthest away from all the loot. You run up to marked room, technically these spawns could beat you to marked room. Like, this one could beat you to marked room if you spawn over here. These spawns have Concordia, construction toolboxes. These spawns have the check buildings and, and uh, sky bridge building. High Pinewood Hotel doesn't really have a whole lot of loot. I mean, there's, I'm sure there's stuff there, but, you know, most of the loot is on this side of the map, which is another issue I have with the map, is that the loot is condensed mostly to this left side, minus marked room, which, by the way, is great. It's definitely the best marked room as of now. Um, but, yeah, but I'm kind of jumping around. I'm sorry. Going back to this bottom corner, it would be really cool if they opened up the cinema building so you could go inside and loot it and you could find some cool stuff in there. Um, then, on at least if you fight down here and you end up killing a few teams... You could hit this building for the loot, right? Has some good loot down there. And then you could hit the car extract and you could leave. Courtyard might be open. You probably won't get courtyard. But then you could run up and you could hit the um, the sniper extract. So, like, you know, it would, it would work. It would, it would At least if you spawn down here, it's not a total loss, right? As far as loot goes. Moving on to the next thing. I want to go back and I want to talk about this side of the map here. I'm just going to put it like a little blue line. So, I feel like, like I said earlier, a lot of the loot is condensed to this left side of the map um now again i know marked room is over here marked room is pretty good right now and then even the finance building has some good stuff but like if you're going out a raid bag you're not going to fill up on marked room and like the finance buildings i mean there are there is loot scattered throughout this area but i feel like as a player it's more convenient to open up like one box or have it all condensed like i could loot the finance building but then i have to run over here to this building i have to go run over here maybe check over here you know like there's like there's a lot of smaller loot spots that you can hit but like you're making a lot of stops whereas if you were to go in the sky bridge building the loot is really condensed to where yeah you're making a lot of stops but you're in the same spot and you can hit those spots within seconds Whereas it could take a, a minute and a half or a half of it, you know, it, it takes longer to run. And every time you leave from one spot to another, you know, you're at risk. Whereas in here in the Skybridge building, you know, the loot is kind of really stacked on top of itself. Of course, people will come there because it's stacked and that's a whole risk and that's worth it because it's all condensed. So it makes sense that, you know, that's the risk that comes with the reward. But it just, it would be nice if maybe they even took, like, this is cinema. So what if they just open up this movie theater building, right? Like, I know there's some spots right there that you can kind of cubby, you can kind of sneak and rat in, but you can't really loot that. But what if they open up the theater building to where there's loot in there as well? And then now this side of the map has theater and it has cinema, right? And you can still hit these buildings and then cross over to go check, you know, the check buildings and, and sky bridge. Or you can do the opposite. You can hit check building and sky bridge and then you can go hit theater, marked room, cinema and then try to look out go out through courtyard or taxi you get what i'm saying or you know just damage house it would be really it would just be nice if this other side of the map had more stuff i'd like it if more of the hotel rooms would were opened up in pinewood as well there's a couple over here that are open but the loot is kind of lackluster it'd be nice if they buffed them uh buff those rooms and just open a few more doors just to make the hotel worth going to i think the idea of looting a hotel is really cool it's just they didn't really capitalize on it and we don't really know what it's going to look like when they expand the map so this all might be mute they might end up doing this in the future but this is just assuming that they don't right so yeah it would be cool if they expanded on the hotel rooms open them up maybe there should be a lot of treasures and stuff people who visit the area maybe souvenirs or whatever a lot of treasure spawns could be in the hotel building that would make it worth stopping by other than passing through just to get to the signal area so that would be nice Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about is a check building. So I have some blue dots right here. And I like the building. I like that the loot is all condensed and on top of each other. You got Iron Gate. You know, you, you might have the check key. Um, that's all good and dandy. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of good loot in there. And you can kind of loot pretty quickly. What I don't like is that it's one way in, one way out. And if you're sitting back here, I should just make this dot red, right? So if you're sitting right here, or if another player is sitting here, they can watch this hallway. And it's difficult... And this goes both ways, because if you're trying to leave and someone's camping here, they could also be watching back in the other direction. And it's just, it's a really hard push, no matter which way, if you're trying to get out, 
or you're trying to get in, if the other person does not commit to pushing or overextending, then there is just like, you are at such a huge disadvantage trying to peek out. Like there has to be a big skill gap in order for you to be able to take advantage of somebody just holding that angle. It's, it's tough. Now, yeah, you can go up the stairs and you can unlock the stairs key and you can get the drop down, but the drop down is also extremely risky because one, the player can hear you do it. And there could be more than one player and someone could be watching the door as you try to open it and drop down or whatever. And it gets dicey, but I mean, it is, I guess it's something I would argue that they should do something creative, like maybe even make it to where like, I know Nikita talked about using sledgehammers to open up doors and stuff, you know, maybe put like a sledgehammer entrance right here, you know, that way people can push in from the other direction. And that way people can't just hold you. Because if you're sitting, if you're the one sitting out here holding on the blue dot, then you have to worry about player scavs coming after you or other players trying to get into the building because there's only one way in, one way out, right? And if you want to move around, you can, yeah, some people say, oh, you can shoot through the windows. I mean, yeah, you can do that, but you like, you leave yourself exposed to like all of this. All of this is you're exposed to like, there's just so many different angles like the people could be approaching from and you're out here looking through the window, jumping and shooting and you're a free kill. Whereas the person inside the building is just chilling. But again, I get that if this person's camping, it gets kind of dicey and it's a weird, awkward situation. So if they could open up another door in to the building, like maybe even just make it a locked door, maybe add one more locked door, like another stairs key right or the sledgehammer idea that nikita has mentioned to this like bathroom section in the back i think that'd be really great that way you can't just camp it'll still be awkward because you have to deal with the hallway but at least it's two different directions and you have more room to play with other than just standing on the damn street hoping you don't get shot in the back you know uh, so that's just my initial feedback for the map overall i think it's a great map I, again it feels like a playground i love being able to run around and shoot and stuff on this map um, I just think that the spawns are a little rough in the bottom right corner, which that goes for every map. So maybe they need to look at that design concept as a whole for future maps going forward and maybe putting things that you can leverage, you know, to keep yourself alive in those areas. I think they should just add more loot to this side of the map. So again, open up the cinema, open up the theater, put some good loot in there. That way this side of the map also has a few decent things to go through. Um, and yeah, that's going to be about it. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did consider dropping a like for your boy maybe even a follow and again if you want to see more of this i have a playlist on my page where you can go over to tarkov talk and you can check it out there have a good day have a good day or night depending on where you are peace